Greetings! Today I've got a packet from China, a yellow packet uh, that comes in through the letter box and I've opened this one already uh, because I was excited to see what it is and what it is inside is a little bag of components and a label that says LM358. Yeah, let's uh, open it and have a look. This is one of the things that I bought on eBay um, a while back and it just takes so long to get here that I completely forget of, uh, of what it was. I've got a circuit board and a little note and oh I think I know what it is. Anyways, um, let's have a look on eBay. This is the listing and it's one of those 99p jobbies um, with free postage so it's it's borderline free um, it's like getting a free kit of electronics uh, for just paying a postage because I don't understand how are they doing this for 99 pence they actually put something in a bubble envelope and send it across half the planet um, so they can't be making a fortune out of this by the way it came from seller code 100 FYS and the item number is 291-804-667511 so there is a PCB there is the LM358 which is a dual op-amp and I think by accident because one op-amp was uh, humping the other op-amp I got two in a pack so I've got a spare LM358 um, out of it excellent um, we've got there should be two cups or so just one yeah one electrolytic cap 25 volt 47 microfarad we've got one two three four LEDs uh, we've got a uh, eight uh, dip eight socket for the for the op amp we've got uh, three resistors two resistors two more resistor, one resistor, a diode, a socket and a cable with a plug and one transistor which is 580S5080 and a little trimmer pot. So let's put this together and see if it works. If you're new to electronics, if that's uh, if you're getting into this hobby, buying kits like that it's a nice easy practice to do some soldering and, and whatnot. And um, yeah, um, when you're assembling kits like that, it's always best practice to start with something that is the lowest uh, physically as a dimension, the lowest part, and usually that falls down to resistors. Now not that often anymore you will see uh, through hole parts but hey um, lucky enough to have some through hole parts and the resistors you can read off by reading the color bands on them and there is a whole um, color number thing over here so black is zero brown is one and and so on and I can't ever remember all of them but anyways um, you can you can get a little chart online to if you wanted to know how to read them off it's actually quite simple but in this case i can actually tell which one is what uh, just by looking at a few colors because there is only like four different values so i can work it out so i know we've got three of this and we should have three 47k resistors and when you're putting resistors in the uh, in the circuit board just bend the leads over like so and where is the third one there we go r3 right r1 r4 r6 r1 r6 r4 i'm looking for aha i found the error straight away easy to spot but uh, you can see there's two r4s and according um, to one spec it should be an 100 ohm according to another it should be uh, a 47k but luckily um, there is uh, actual values written on the silk screen over here so we know that uh, it's not r4 but r3 that's supposed to go in here but there you go stick it in 
bend the legs, legs over a little bit so it doesn't fall out and um, that will be ready for soldering. When you've put them in all like so, it's time to solder it up and uh, if you've got a lot of parts, don't put all of them but one, do them in small batches but there's only a few over here so we can start applying some solder when it's um, upside, the board is upside down like so, uh, it's uh, it will hold the parts and prevent them from falling out so we can just hit them one by one and apply some solder like so and just do that to all of them I've actually put a little bit too much over here we go and when you're done soldering the first batch of parts just cut off the legs I'm using here my tiger cuticle cutters because those are great and very inexpensive side cutters for electronics as you know side cutters can be really expensive but this stuff costs only a couple of pounds and it's really really good for cutting small stuff and um, we've got uh, one N4007 diode That's, this one be careful it's polarized so you can look at the band on the diode and look for a stripe or a band on on the silk screen we've got the trim pot and we've got the cap with the electrolytic caps are also polarized, so um, actually they will brand. They will. They make cars. They make microwaves, and they make capacitors. Who knew? Um, anyways, uh, the longer cap is the plus, and you've also got the mine negative um, always indicated, and a transistor. So I'm going to trust on this occasion with the transistor and just stick it the way it's indicated on the silk screen. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we've got uh, all of that. Now I'm going to put in the LM358 first and then I'll put the LEDs at the end. Um, now they've supplied a little um, socket but I'm not going to use that on this occasion. I'm just gonna solder the LM358 directly into the, into the board, should be fine. Okay, that's done. Now the LEDs. And now, because I want the LEDs to stick out um, quite a bit over, so they are the longest part on the board. What I'm gonna do? I've tried uh, just bending the legs over so they hold in place, but it's not stable. So I've got just a piece of plastic that I'm going to put in between the LED legs, um, like so. So just it holds it. There you go. Um, just so the LEDs are being held at an equal distance um, during soldering and then we can move to the other the other two there we go that's all done so the last thing the power supply cable so we, we want to put it so the marked one points to positive like so Tack one leg in and solder it properly. Oops, bridge. There we go. Okay, so now that it's completed, let's power this up. This thing calls for 12 volts, and that would seem about right for the LM358. So I've got a 
12 volt uh, plug over here. I'm just going to stick it, uh, stick one in, stick one on the outside, and if I just make a continuous contact, there we go. It's a blinky thing that gently fades in and out the LEDs, and with this uh, trim pot I can possibly adjust. Yeah. That, that's quicker and let's make it the slowest oh, that's quite nice okay a little little blinky thing breathing light uh, breathing light kit there you go I um, hope you enjoyed this little build video of a miscellaneous kit from China Thank you very much for watching, uh, give me a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more random stuff and for the time being, take care.